Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Gabo the Shaman and today we are talking about what happens when we have Jupiter in Scorpio in our birth chart. So, um, I am a Vedic astrologer if you didn't know and I offer Vedic astrology readings. So if you'd like a Vedic astrology reading from me, then you can go to vincent.thunderwizard.com, links down below in the description. Also, you can go here to linktree slash the shaman, check out all of my products, services, courses, everything that I have to offer, and all of those links will be also be down below in the description. So, um, let's talk about Jupiter in Scorpio. So, you were born with Jupiter in Scorpio, so what happens when we have displacement? Well, uh, Jupiter... Jupiter is the planet of wisdom and knowledge, and uh, he is called Guru in Sanskrit. Um, so he's the Guru, he's the teacher, he's the one who has all the knowledge, the wisdom, and he is the most benef uh, beneficial planet in, in astrology, so he's one of the most beneficial, or he is the most beneficial. So he is basically in charge of giving you really good things, really positive things, really beneficial things. And so he's the one that spoils that spoils you. Whereas Saturn is the one who, you know, gives you the the rod. Okay? <laughs> so um so Jupiter in Scorpio. Now what is Scorpio? Scorpio is all about sudden transformation. So the things that pertain to Scorpio are birth, death, sex, transformation, sudden ups and downs, sudden gains and losses, sudden uh sudden transformation, sudden like uh unexpected you know shifts, things that happen in life. So when we have Jupiter here, it, uh, well, Scorpio is also the planet of, uh, or the, the sign of, of psychology. So, um, our, our unconscious mind, our deepest, innermost, uh, unconscious, uh, programming and, and thoughts and behaviors and habits and things like that. All of our psychological issues are subconscious and unconscious issues will be seen through Scorpio. So Jupiter here in Scorpio, what does that mean? Well, Jupiter is all about, um, so Jupiter will, so Jupiter is the planet of like knowledge and wisdom and, uh, teachings and, um, Scorpio also has to do with the occult, the darker side of of life. So it has to do with the occult, it has to do with hidden things, it has to do with um, like black magic, um, you know, secret rituals kind of thing. So that's what uh, Scorpio has to do with. And then Jupiter here will give you knowledge and wisdom of the occult. It'll it'll make you uh basically a black magician, uh someone who can someone who knows like the occult very well, someone who is like very um knowledgeable about how to uh perform rituals and 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 really this is like uh someone who is very familiar with the mantra and um as well as like uh you know tantra um you know there there's a uh, tantra basically just means techniques so it's it's techniques to uh to get what you want so rituals and techniques and magic and things like that so yeah it's um very it's all about, you know, spirituality and going into that that world of the unseen. So the, you know, uh, 
people who are, you know, they they have assumptions about about what magic is, but real, you know, magic that actually works is a lot different than their assumptions. A lot of people think of magic as being something maybe satanic or something like that, but uh, real magic is just doing, you know, is like doing rituals so that you can align with your highest self and, and uh, you know, things like that. So, um, but yeah, I mean, it's interesting. So, so this is a placement where we have Scorpio and Scorpio is also about the unconscious mind. So, and Jupiter here can, can make somebody like if you had Jupiter and Scorpio in the 10th house, you could be a, um, a psychologist. You could be a, a psychiatrist, a psychologist, you know, a counselor, therapist, something like that. So, I mean, yeah, so it's, you know, it's, uh, because what is, what is Jupiter? Jupiter is about wisdom, it's about knowledge, about teaching. So teaching somebody about their own unconscious mind makes you a what a therapist so um yeah so about and uh scorpio has a lot to do with psychology too so basically this placement is all about you know um it could make you a uh uh, like a, a addiction, uh, addiction therapist or a, a sex addiction kind of, uh, counselor or therapist or something like that. Also, like, uh, I mean, people, uh, could have a lot of, um, you know, addictions like Scorpio. Scorpio has a lot to do with addictions and things like that. So, um, it's, you know, it's, so Jupiter would be the, the guru, the teacher who helps you overcome those, overcome the addictions and overcome the, um, you know, vices and, and things like that. And how do we do that? By becoming clear with our unconscious mind, by bringing our unconscious to the conscious, which is what Jupiter wants to do here. Alrighty guys, so... I uh, hope this explained it well enough, and, um, you know, if I have a, uh, Vedic Astrology certification course, so if you'd like to, to become a Vedic Astrologer and have me promote you on this channel, uh, then you can go check out the, the Vedic Astrology certification course, and you can always use that to kind of, uh, start your own business on, you know, it doesn't have to be... It doesn't have to be like through my channel or like, you know, you, you don't have to get certified through me, but um, if you want to become a Vedic astrologer, there's the tools to do that. So at linktree slash Kevla the Shaman. And um, then we have, so I do have the Vedic astrology certification course, and that is very powerful. That is, uh, you know, that teaches you a lot of things that not not a lot of astrologers know. A lot of astrologers are are good with uh, predictions and and making sure like you know making uh, assumptions about your like you know basically telling you about your chart and things like that and giving you information about your chart. But um, what I do is give the give you the most in, important information. So what what planets are are wanting to work with you, and what uh, what mantra should you be doing? What ritual should you be doing in order to manifest what you want in life? So those are all very important. Those are the things that I teach you, uh, and much more in the Vedic Astrology certification course. And then we have, of course, uh, Vedic Astrology readings. Um, I am a Vedic astrologer. I do Vedic astrology readings. I do a unique style. 
So it's not just like, okay, here's your sun placement, here's your moon placement. Of course, I do incorporate those things in there, but basically, I have a very unique unique style and it's all about doing the work it's all about practical application of the knowledge so then we have distance energy healing so um or sorry i i do birth time rectification as well now i just uh you know i just uh i charge so much for that because um you know it really does take a lot of my time up and um, I want to make sure that I'm doing it right, and I'm doing giving you guys the the best astrology uh, birth time rectification that I can give you. So that does take a, a lot of time. So that's why I charge so much for it. Um, the career coaching and life coaching, basically, that is um, or sorry, distance energy healing. Uh, that is. Uh, Basically, what, where I go and, you know, I do my shamanic ritual and I do my qigong and things like that. And I send you the energy and it's very healing, very cleansing, very powerful. And uh, I spend an hour just working on you. Just focusing on sending you the energy and healing you through shamanic practice and things like that. So it is very powerful. Anyway, um, then we have the career coaching and life coaching. So, um, you know, a lot of people are just kind of confused in life. They don't know what the hell they're doing. <laughs> so, they don't know what they want to do. They don't know what they're supposed to do. It's just a mess. So, uh, that's, and that's not good, by the way. That is not a good position to be in, to be, you know, confused about life and whatever. So the career consultation basically gets you unconfused, unstuck. So you know deep down what you're supposed to be doing, so my job is just to help you discover that for yourself. Um, a lot of people are just waiting for life to pass them by and they're not actually living proactively and taking charge of their life and uh, it's just their life goes downhill, so uh, that's that's not a good thing. So, anyway, um, if you want to, you know, make the most out of your life, then work with me. Uh, I will help you to do that, to, uh, you know, become the best version of yourself. And I do uh, offer career consultations and life coaching, so... So the life coaching is ongoing, and it's basically more or less just kind of a check-in to uh, to see that you're on the right path and you can ask me questions and um, and it's uh, it's really good to work with somebody because you know a lot of times we we think that we're um, you know doing the right thing but then we'll be self-sabotaging ourselves and not doing you know what we're supposed to be doing so um, so yeah, it's important to have a life coach, have a have a support system that you can trust and rely on to help you through things. So then we have the shamanic ritual magic courses. So right now I have the Fehu Wealth Ritual up there, and uh, basically that goes into your unconscious mind, into the nine levels of your psyche. And it destroys all your psychological unconscious blocks around wealth, around being prosperous, about having money, having uh, joy, happiness in your life, and, and resources and things. And then we have the Qigong courses. So I have the Cosmic Qigong and the Self-Transformation Challenge. So the Cosmic Qigong is... Uh, basically designed for beginners it's it's very powerful though it is you know some of them some of the most simplest exercises are the most powerful so even though yes it is very simple it is super powerful too there's a lot to be gained from those exercises um, now we have also um, 
We also have the self transformation challenge right here. So that is basically a combination of Kundalini Yoga, um, Qigong, and meditation. And so those are the three forms of meditation that I primarily use. And when we synchronize them, when we um, combine them synergetically, uh, uh, basically we we combine all three levels of of consciousness, and we uh, you know it's it's super powerful. Basically, it's super powerful. It opens up your meridians. It gets your kundalini to rise. It's just a total self transformation challenge. So um, yeah, so that's why I called it that. Anyway, guys, so. I guess that does it for me, so um, we will talk to you next time. Alrighty. Peace.